Hello, this is David from the Package Widget Suite team, and in today's video, I'm going to discuss how to import packages into uh, the GitLab Package Registry. So, we have been working on this tool that uh, takes a configuration file that describes a source package registry, a destination package registry, and the, and the list of packages that you want to import from the source to the destination. Um, this tool will then create a GitLab pipeline configuration file and you can create a pipeline out of that and the pipeline will execute the import. You will have one job per package uh, to be copied. Um, so you will have all the visibility on the, on the import. On the first version, we had support for NPM packages. On the second version, we had support for um, Nugget packages. And this time around, I'm going to show you how to import Maven packages. So here is a brand new project that I just created on gitlab.com. Um, I just set a few CI uh, variables in the settings you will see why uh, we need them so I'm going to open this uh, project in the IDE so first thing um, we will need a GitLab configuration file and for this one it will be quite simple two lines so what these two lines do is importing the uh, configuration template from the importer tool project. And it will set up a job that will pull the uh, tool and execute it within the pipeline. Then it will create, uh, as we discussed, it will output a GitLab configuration pipeline and it will start a downstream pipeline out of that file. <coughs> so on this file, we are all set up. The tool will need a config file, which we are going to create now. So how this works. Um, we organize the configurations by imports, meaning that um, here we have an import well, from GitLab, so uh, it's from another group in on GitLab.com. And so you have the source, the destination, and the list of packages to, to import. Um, notice that um, the GitLab Maven package registry has multiple endpoints from which you can pull packages. You have the project level, the group level, and the instance level. For this one, I'm using the group level endpoint to pull packages. This group being private, I need credentials um, to pull them. So I will just describe them. Um, we will need a token. That's where we are using the CI uh, CICD variables that I defined in the project and then we will need the header name so the header name if we open the GitLab uh, Maven package registry documentation we can see that um, depending on the token type that you are going to use we need to send a very specific name as the header so in this case, I'm using a personal access token. I will need to send a private token. And here it is. For the destination, the destination will be this project that I'm working on. So it's the project level endpoint. Uh, again, this is a private project. Or Well, actually, we are pushing or publishing packages towards that project. So we need credentials to do that. And same thing, I'm using a CI-CD variable and the header name is, again, um, private uh, personal access token. 
Now for packages, so we need to list which packages I want to import. On Maven packages, it's a bit challenging because Maven packages, if we look at the reference, um, they are described by coordinates that have three pieces. The first one is the group ID, the second one is the artifact ID, and the third one is the version. So to describe that, we will need to put together the group ID and the artifact ID together to build the package name if we want and then below that we can describe the versions. The versions can be an array right below the package name or it can be a single value that works too. So as I said um, we can describe multiple imports in the config file. We are not limited to one single import so let's try to describe a different import. This time around is from uh, Artifactory, so um, we will use um, the URL from your Artifactory repository URL and we will need to pass credentials. So for Artifactory we can use the basic auth authentication and for that we will need a username and token. Again, it's a bad idea to put password in config file, so we are using the ACICD variable. Destination. The config file is a YAML file, so instead of rewriting or duplicating the destination definition, what we can use is a YAML anchor. So this is a YAML anchor and I'm just referencing it here meaning that this de destination will be exactly this one. So we are uh, importing packages from here from a GitLab group to this project and here from Artifactory to this project again. So the package list uh, similar, we have the group ID, the artifact ID and then the version. Um, Let's put another import. So this time around from GitHub, very similar to uh, Artifactory, same thing. We need to describe the source. Uh, the authentication there is uh, with a username password. So we need to use username token. So same thing, CICD variables. This time around for packages, I reference a CSV file um, because the tool supports that. So let's create that file. And let's put some um, packages. It follows the same rules. We do have a group ID, the artifact ID, uh, and then the, um, the version. We only have two columns, that's it. It's the package name and then the version, that's it. We don't need anything uh, more. So we are good to go here. And the last one I want to show you today it's actually an import from Maven Central. So Maven Central is the like official public Maven registry. Um, to access this one, you don't need credentials, so we don't define them. We still define the destination, of course, because we want everything to be imported on this project. And we list the packages that we want to import. Um, well, that's good. I think we are all clear. This is clear. Okay. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention here is that we are importing the template using the full URL, which means that self-manage instances of GitLab can use this tool directly by using the exact same lines. 
in the, the, the GitLab instance will pull the template from gitlab.com from this URL and then execute everything. So that works for self-managed too. All right, uh, let's commit everything and have a look at the pipeline. So here it is running. So we can see that we have the, a job to generate the downstream pipeline config file. Um, so yeah, it seems that the config was properly generated. If we look at the pipeline again, here we have the downstream pipeline. If we open it, We have all the imports. So as I said, the imports are organized uh, as blocks. So each stage that we have here is a block import block that we define in the config file. And each stage will have one job per packages. And you can see that they are all running in parallel more or less. So it's pretty pretty fast. Um, if you have any doubts on uh, how the package, the Maven package was imported, you can open the job and see the details. So let's check the package registry of this project. And here we have all the packages that were imported into this project from the different uh, source registries. Um, one thing I want to mention here is the limitations. So the tool itself has some limitations because when we, when we have a downstream pipeline, the config file that we can pass has a limitation on its size. So uh, there is a there is a limit on the amount of configuration that you can put in the config file, but the tool will check for that uh, amount for you. So you will see the tool failing if um, the limit is uh, the the amount of uh, config is above the the limit. The other limitations are for Maven packages. So at the moment, we don't support importing artifacts that have a classifier. So for example, dash uh, javadoc.jar or dash sources.jar. Um, those are not supported at, at the moment. Uh, like we only support like standard jars files uh, for, for the import. Um, yeah, I think that's the only limitations I wanted to walk you through. So um, yeah, I guess that's it for the demo. I will leave a link to the project in the video description below. Feel free to visit the, the project and open issues um, for any kind of, of feedback. Yeah, I guess that's it for, for this demo. And well, see you next time. Bye.